Hello everyone, this is Usapang Kahit Ano. In this video lecture, I'll talk about writing action news stories. News stories, as we all know, have two types, hard news and soft news. Hard news are those stories that are reported immediately in different media platforms. Hence, they are considered timely and important. On the other hand, soft news refers to those stories that appeal to the general audience because of its or their entertainment quality or value. Before you begin this lesson on writing action news stories, first, I'd like you to do a simple activity by telling whether each item that I'll be flashing on the screen is a hard news or a soft news. Are you ready? Let's begin. This one, political issues. Is it hard news or soft news? Correct! It's hard news. How about this one, celebrity news? Hard news or soft news? Okay, so this one is a soft news. How about this one? Lifestyle events. It's also a soft news. How about vehicular accidents? Soft news or hard news? That's right. These are hard news stories. And how about this one? Stories about economic problems. Hard news or soft news? Okay, this one is also an example of a hard news story. Okay, this time, I'd like you to read the given hard news, okay, then answer the questions. What are these questions? As you read, I'd like you to look for the paragraph where you can find, number one, the identity of the victim, the identity of the suspect, any background information about the incident and police action against the suspect, if there is any. Are you ready? Here is the story. A traffic aide in Alcala City was declared dead upon arrival at the hospital after he was stabbed by a motorist during an argument. Victim Ruben de Matilio, 49, resident of Zone 25 Barangay Tukmem, Alcala City in Cagayan Province, was allegedly stabbed by Ryan Pagaspas, 31, using a utility knife. Police Officer 2 Rolando Bartolome of the Precinct 4 of the Alcala City Police Office said that when Dematilio confronted Pagaspas for not wearing his helmet while driving, the suspect reportedly pulled out a utility knife and stabbed him. PO2 Bartolome said Pagaspas works as a butcher in the city's slaughterhouse. The victim was initially brought to the Alcala City District Hospital but was later transferred to the Cagayan Valley General Hospital where he was declared dead. The suspect is detained at the Alcala City Police Station while the victim's brother has already filed criminal charges against him. Okay. Now, let's go back to the questions. Earlier, I asked you to pay attention to the paragraph where you can find the identity of the victim, identity of the suspect, any background information about the incident, and the police action against the suspect. Okay, now let's answer these questions. In what paragraph can you find the identity of the victim? You may go back to the previous section of this video to answer this question. That's right. You can find the answer in paragraph 2. And what is that? The identity of the victim is Ryoben de Matilio, who is 49 years old and a resident of Barangay Tukmem in Alcala City in Cagayan Province. Okay, 
Let's proceed to the next question. In what paragraph can you find the identity of the suspect? Okay, so we have also in paragraph 2. Okay, and who is the suspect? What is his name? Ryan Pagaspas. He is 31 years old. Okay, next. In what paragraph can you find any background information about the incident? Actually, there are several paragraphs that answer this question. The first one is paragraph 3. Okay, and the background information that can be found here is... Okay, Dematilio confronted Pagaspas for not wearing his helmet while driving. Okay, and because of that, the suspect, Pagaspas, reportedly pulled out a utility knife and stabbed him. Another background information can be found in paragraph 4. We learned that, but that Pagaspas is a butcher in the slaughterhouse of the city. And another information that can be seen here is in paragraph 5. Okay. And what's the information given here? The victim was brought to the Alcala City District Hospital and was later on transferred to the Cagayan Valley General Hospital where he was declared dead. Okay, so those are the answers to this question. And the last question, in what paragraph can you find the police action against the suspect? We can find the answer in paragraph 6. And what is that? Okay, the suspect has been detained at the police station of the city and the brother of the victim has also filed criminal charges against him. So, basically, this is the structure of an action news story. In my next video, I'll be talking about the different types of action stories, specifically disaster and calamities, police reports or stories, and accident stories. How are we going to write these types of action stories? You watch out for the second part of this video lecture. Again, please subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. Kindly ask your schoolmates as well, your fellow journalists to do the same. Again, this is Usapang Kahit Ano.